so good to be here tonight. I'm going to start it out here with uh, the first in a continuing series of what I like to call my anti-Peter Pan advice campaign, <laughs> in uh, which I give a proper redress to um, common sayings and quotes. You might hear a lot of them on Facebook and get really annoyed too, so uh, here's the first one. You might know it. It's known as uh, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt me. Uh, bullshit. Uh, okay, here's my redress. Words can use adjectives and verbs that will lead us to disaster. And yes, sticks and stones may break our bones, but that certainly heals faster. <laughs> and here's a poem that I literally finished right now. So it's a little bit of a mess, but um, this one um, goes out there to like, honor soldiers. Um, it was written from a recurring dream of mine that I still get to this day, and I really should call it a nightmare. It's called Stunned Null, which is German for zero hour. Some wear crosses for anchors. I have no thoughts of heaven now, just endless licks of ice and flame to hem us in. Even hell is leveled above our reach. We are out of view of God. We have moved on to meet faces of ourselves title, enemy. They have the same dead end stare. It is not hate. It is not love. It's the unknown primal something that drives us on. And our bodies moved ahead without us. Our disincorporated spirits Hold within the vortex of the march. Little particles of memory would emanate to break the void. Oh, how we craved the sanity of mundane life. It's echoes of the creatures we once were the bark of a dog, the soft eye of a sun on the leaf, the shine off the red ribbon on the curls of her hair. God, how they knew they had us at first kill. <laughs> now all is numbness, madness, and the march. If I turn back, if I stop and allow the stillness, I am left to claim my mirror self as God, monster, murderer. No, no. So I trudge onward as man, hero, patriot. Heroes? Heroes. Yes, we are decorated. We are the furniture of war. Sodden, animated carcasses scale to the strategy of psychopaths. We move in linear patterns, wrapping and rewrapping bloody bandages on swollen clots of meat. We were specters traversing the frozen acres of hell. We built thirsts, hungers, longings to fall on silent clouds of snow, 
thoughts drifting between realms, decisions to fall or to stand, broken by the sergeant's call. It's the zero hour, soldier. Press on, press on. And the rich old creatures, armored in their suits of green paper, illusion, sit in warmth of office, speak of wisdom, of reason. They are the purveyors of nothing. They send phrase without answer, without truth, and hide themselves under a blanket of sanity, while we, the other creatures, the illegitimate children of fate, march on in crimson coats of blood, live inside the horror of moments, tuned to the drummer of the hour, our echo steps kept the cadence of the damn. We who shuffle ever forward with compass set to the destination of fools are captured by the eyes of death, its steadiness, its unblinking cunning stare undresses us, and we are left to stand naked in a holocaust of questions. Wow.